Well, hello everybody. Charlene Burke with Search by Burke here to talk to you today about accountability partners and the value of an accountability partner that shows up. Well, you know, I could get this down to like 10 seconds and tell you the value of an accountability partner who actually shows up is invaluable. I know about accountability partners for a couple of reasons. The first is that I have been hosting mastermind groups for business owners and small business owners since 2008. Started doing it in person and then took it virtually and have been virtually ever since. Well, accountability partners are a subgroup of mastermind groups. And what that means is that whether they're assigned or naturally start happening amongst group members, they happen. People start connecting with each other singly, right, and going off to the side. And in between meetings, they're keeping each other on task. They're keeping each other accountable. They're holding feet to the fire, right? And they can do this because they have created a sense of community, of ownership of your success, of the other person's success, of really wanting to help somebody and in return get the help that they need. So in 2014, I decided that um, needed that subset group separate from a mastermind. And so I started Get It Done groups. And every quarter filled a group and amazing things got done. And so what ended up happening is that I now have Get It Done programs that are group accountability programs and they seem to work better for some people than having a one-to-one -one accountability partner. Now, let's get to accountability partners. A few years ago, even with my experience, right, all my experience of hosting mastermind groups, having been a member of a mastermind group, I was holding these get it done groups and I was having mastermind groups, but I wasn't a part of one myself. When I host a mastermind group and pull one together, I'm not a participant. I'm a leader. I'm, I'm a the one who makes sure I'm a facilitator, right? And I play a very important role in, in that mastermind group. But I'm not a full participant or member, so I wasn't getting the accountability that a lot of these people were, especially when I was doing my Get It Done groups. I'm watching people and I'm like, oh, I'm missing out. I need an accountability partner. So I went on the hunt. Knowing what it takes to be an accountability partner, I looked for somebody to respond to me on Facebook or LinkedIn in a manner that said, one, I'm committed, two, I'm committed to showing up, three, I'm committed to reminding you of what your goals were, what you said you were going to do, four, I'm committed to doing the same to you, telling you what my goals are, and committed to showing up and telling you why I didn't reach them, why I didn't do the task, or why I did so we can celebrate my successes. Simple stuff, right? All right, so I posted out on Facebook. And I said, you know, I'm just going to try this. We're going to see if strangers show up. And they did. Strangers being that we're connected, but we've never really actually worked together. And so one gal says, yes, I'll be your accountability partner. I said, yes, that rocks. Okay. We both like to get up early. She's working on actually growing a direct sales business. I'm working on creating content. And I said, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is what you're doing. Great. So we set up a time and we set up a date. What we did was we used Facebook Messenger at the time. Video was new, but it worked beautifully for the both of us because she was in Canada and I'm in the U.S. and didn't have to download a whole lot of software, what have you. So we decided we would meet every single morning at 6 a.m., review what we would do for the day. That's where we would start. And then as we progressed, we would do an update of what we had done the day before and why we didn't do it if we didn't do it. I have to tell you, the first two weeks were fabulous. Every morning showed up. It was great. Got a lot done. She appeared to get a lot done. And then all of a sudden I get a message that says, um, I'm going to have to reschedule. Oh, okay. Throws me off. 
All right, we can reschedule. Oh, you want to do it at 7? All right, I'll try it. It was squeezing me on that particular day. Then the next day it was, I'm not going to be able to show up. Can't come in. Can't. Okay, well, already, just twice is enough for me to feel defeated um, and neglected. And so it didn't take long, about three to four weeks in, she just was a no-show. So I just sent her a message and said, you know what, I thank you for showing up and committing the first couple of weeks. It was helpful to me. I'm going to have to enter a partnership. This isn't going to work. She didn't meet her end of the agreement, so we cut ties. So I put it out there again. And I had a gal respond, and she said, oh, but I can't commit to a particular day. I can commit to once a week, but I don't know what that day will be. I said, well, that's not going to work for me. That, that won't. Why? Because it's too easy to not show up when it's not on your calendar. I know this. I'm, I'm all about productivity. I'm all about uh, efficiency. Uh, I have a background in engineering and marketing. I understand uh, the importance of commitment, putting it on the calendar, showing up and doing the work. And if any of that wasn't being done by an accountability partner, I was suffering. And I wasn't up to for suffering. So no, no thank you. So then finally, what ended up happening is a gal responded to me and says, <laughs> Charlene, I would love to be your accountability partner. Christy, good night. We've known each other for years. How awesome is this? Yes. We already knew each other. We were friends. We had, we had done a little bit of business together. And even then, even then, let's lay the groundwork. This is how we're going to work together and what we are committing to. We committed to meeting on Monday mornings at a particular time. We agreed to put it on our calendar. We were going to use Zoom. This is what it looked like. We, we initially started out, excuse me while I get a cough drop or else I'm going to go into a coughing fit. <coughs> um, we agreed initially to work on one thing at a time. And we have been meeting now for well over two years. So we're able to cover more each week when we get together. We update. I, I'm doing these things. But the most important thing is this one. And what that's telling her when I say it, when she says it to me, what it's telling me is that this is what I want to hear from you next week when we get together. How did you do on this thing? Now. When we show up, it's awesome. It is. Yes, life has gotten in the way. There have been a couple of times, a handful of times, that we've not been able to meet on Mondays. But we always connect via email or something, right? What if you don't do the work? What if you don't do the work? See, that's another way an accountability partner shows up. It's not, first it's a commitment. I'm willing to show up physically. I'm willing to show up face to face with you. I'm willing to show up to share with you my successes and my failures and to hear the same from you. Another way that an accountability partner, a good one, shows up is when they hold your feet to the fire. Now, this does not mean that you, you do the finger pointing. That is not your job as an accountability partner. What it does mean is asking why and being pointed about it. As in, Jennifer, you said you were going to have that website done. You laid out these pages that were going to be completed, and now you're saying, it's, it's so much to do that I can't do this, so I'm going to start something else. Why would you do that? And then the excuse comes, right? Why would you do that to yourself? You said you were going to do this. I'm not hearing anything that is a solid enough reason to stop. True example of somebody in a get it done group when it was just me and her and she just, oh, 
all right, fine. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, you know what? That's what I'm here for. Following following meetings, she, she just raved about how softly Charlene kicked her butt. Well, I'll tell you what, when somebody does that for me, it's not that I feel like you're, you're pointing your finger at me. I don't like it and I'm very uncomfortable because I have to own up and be responsible and be accountable and say, I don't want to do the work. Why not? You were willing last week. You were willing the week before and the week before. Why suddenly now? What's going on with that? So to have an accountability partner who can show up like that, wow. I'm just telling you, it's pretty darn awesome. I want you to take a look at yourself and determine, do you think you could be a good accountability partner? Outline what you think you would want out of an accountability partner. And then go out and seek that. If you're having trouble, if you're unsure of wanting to just randomly go with a, with a stranger, or if you've had an accountability partner and it's just flat not working out, and so you feel like you're floating around and you're kind of stuck, I want to invite you to contact me and let's talk about maybe you joining a Get It Done group. I have a special eight-week group that's starting in January with the sole purpose of being an accountability group to start whatever, but more importantly, to finish something. Because that's the other thing the accountability partner shows up to do is to help you finish. We're all a bunch of starters, aren't we? I am. I can start a whole slew of things, get right up to the edge of completion. Maybe it's a cover for an ebook. Maybe it's the final page of a website. Maybe it's promoting the program. There's that one last final thing that I don't finish without the assistance of an accountability partner. Having somebody on the outside who cares about my success and is willing to say, what, what's stopping you? If I recall, this is what you said and what, this is why you said you wanted it. So that's what I do for others. That's the what I set up in a group for a get it done group. Is I set up an environment where it's it's a safe place to screw up. Because if you don't know, and I've seen it happen, I don't know why I didn't get it done. I procrastinated and literally sat, sat there in a the group and heard her say, I'm clueless. I don't know why. And the group step in and start talking about their experiences with procrastination. And all of a sudden, seeing her eyes, I said, you know, I've wanted this so badly that I'm scared to death it will flop. It was that simple. Scared to death it's going to flop. I've wanted this for so long. And I've wanted to do this. It's right here. What if it doesn't work? And the beauty of it is having a group of people that comes right back immediately and says, what if it does? Oh, so that's it. That's the value of an accountability partner who shows up, shows up in multiple ways. If you are joining me on the replay, or if you're here live, go ahead and put in your experiences. Have you ever thought of getting an accountability partner and just didn't? That's fine. I'd love to know. Have you tried it and found it to be absolutely fabulous? Wonderful. Share it with the group. Have you tried it and just flopped? Like I just shared, I had my own flops. Feel free. And if you are sitting on the fence wondering if maybe you ought to join an accountability group where everybody shows up, I'm always showing up, making sure. I'm always aware of who's doing what. I'm the leader of the group. So if somebody in the group doesn't show up, that's okay. I still do. Charlene Burke with Search by Burke. You can find me at searchbyburke.com. That with you. All right, go forth. Let's do. Let's get this thing done, right? 
everybody have a great day.